On tonight's very special episode, I am here with Lau from Aztec Records. How are you, Lau? Hello, how are you? It's good to be here. So Lau, not only are you a recording artist for Aztec Records, but you are also the creative director of Aztec Records. Can you tell me what that's like? What does a creative director do? Yeah, that's right. So I'm the creative director at Aztec. Um, and I set up this label with my best friend Ariel. So we set this up about 10 years ago. Being creative director is great. It means I run basically the artistic side of the label. I am the one who kind of chooses the, the acts that we sign um, and the direction and the, the, the aesthetic of the label, if you like. Um, and it's great because I've been in the scene for a long time. Uh, I know a lot of these artists. I, I've toured with them or I've collaborated with them or they, they know me somehow. So it's, it's, been, it's been great. Um, for me, it's a very natural thing to do. I find music that I like and I want to sign it. It's as simple as that. So we have grown a lot in the last year. We are now a team of 11 people. Uh, we used to, used to be just two of us, uh, Ariel and myself. So it's now 11 of us covering all aspects of the label and uh, everything that an artist needs to, to push their music forward and to, to succeed. We know that you're multi-talented in the music field. So can you tell me how you got into this art? Well, I started my career as a session drummer. So I was a session drummer for a long time. Um, touring with different pop stars around the world and doing a lot of TV shows and big festivals. And that was great. That was a great insight on, on the big major labels kind of music industry. I loved that. I loved it for a long time. It was fantastic. And then 10 years ago, I set up the label with Ariel and we started discovering talent. And also I, I started writing music with other people. So more specifically with Nina, I wrote two albums with her, which I'm very proud of. They're, they're fantastic, in my opinion. And then eventually I um, I kind of veered towards my own solo career and started writing songs. I decided to start singing the songs I was writing instead of writing for other people. So that's how this Lao project started, which is fairly new. Um, although people know me from a long time, um, I've only gone solo in the last couple of months. So I've just released three singles and I've got the album nearly ready, which I hope to release at the end of the year. So Lau, who are your musical influences? Um, musical influences, um, I mean, I grew up listening to um, Tears for Fears, Queen, Roxette, um, Madonna. So very 80s influenced. All my music has that 80s twang somewhere. Um, but I want to make it current at the same time, so I want the production to sound current as well. So it's kind of a, a crossover of both worlds, which seemed to work really well with Nina as well. So we were doing synthwave, but we, tr we were trying to do it in a current production way um, and focusing on writing good songs, basically. That's that's the aim always for me. My solo stuff is uh, kind of synth pop, synth wave, retro wave, a mixture of all three. And you will hear all that in my album for sure. So we're going to be showing your stunning lockdown video a little bit later. Can you tell me what the song is about and what was the filming process like for the video? Stunning is about getting over a breakup, moving on, um, realizing the mistakes you've made, maybe trusting someone a bit too much and getting hurt in the process and realizing you're not going to make those mistakes again next time. So it's kind of, um, it's something I went through recently. So. It came from the heart, um, but at the same time, it's an uplifting song. It, it makes you want to dance. So I love that. I think I've turned the negative into a positive. And the video itself, it's a home video. I call it a lockdown video. I did it at home when the whole pandemic started and you couldn't go anywhere. So I used this iPhone and filmed myself playing all the instruments and edited it on Final Cut Pro. So, Lau, what can we expect to see from you in the future? And also, what can we see from Aztec Records? So, we've got a lot coming up. Um, well, I've got my album coming up in the next few months, which I'm working really hard towards that. Uh, probably I'll release a couple more singles and then the album. And uh, I just want to get people to know me a bit better. 
and for Aztec Records we're so excited because we've, we've grown, we've got 20 artists on our roster right now and we're constantly finding new amazing talent um, so please don't stop sending your demos in um, there's some amazing synth wave retro wave synth pop artists out there thank you so much to Lau for being with us on static realms music hour thanks for having me it's been a pleasure now here's her video for the song stunning Remember, sharing is caring. If you'd care to see your videos on Static Realms, submit them to staticrealms at outlook.com. Good night.